Here's a great passage for daily living found in Colossians chapter 4, beginning in verse 5. It says, Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. I was on a flight the other day where I noticed that the flight attendant had an unusually pleasant smile. Man, I thought, she's in a good mood for a flight that leaves so early in the morning. And that's when it occurred to me that I thought a smiling person was an unusual sight. Now, why was that? Why should happy people be the exception instead of the norm? And of course, there's the distinct possibility that the flight attendant was only smiling at 6.30 in the morning because she got paid to do it, which means that nobody on that plane was actually happy. If you think about it a little bit, it says a lot about the world we live in. We notice it when someone is pleasant to be around because it's an exception to the rule. We've become so used to unhappy people with big problems that we're pleasantly surprised when we meet somebody who exudes a little bit of sunshine. And of course, we're immediately suspicious. Come on, we think. Nobody's that happy. I guess here's the bottom line of what I'm trying to say today. People really notice when you're pleasant. For the most part, it attracts the right kind of attention and opens doors for you that others find impossible to open. Listen again to what Paul says. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt. Now, of course, that's not just a smile on your face he's talking about. It's the whole ball of wax. It's your demeanor. It's the words you say and the way you say them. And what's the whole point of being so nice to people you hardly even know? Paul sets the stage in verse 5, where he says this, Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. You know, it's quite possible that Paul just wanted everybody to be nice, but I don't think that's really what's going on. This is talking about more than pleasantries. Your objective as a Christian is not just to make someone's day a little brighter or to make them feel good about meeting you. The reason you season your speech with grace, besides just being the right thing to do, is to open doors of opportunity so that you can lead someone to Christ. Use a little wisdom, says Paul, because you don't have much time. You just never know when your kind words, your wise words, your carefully chosen words are going to increase the kingdom of heaven by one person. It's not just about being nice. It's about being wise and using our tongues for the glory of God. And that's just a better way to live.